Hello and welcome to LCDC TV. Today I'm here at the point, home of Addison Lee and Comcab. And I'm joined today by none other than CEO of Addison Lee, Liam Griffith, and Managing Director of Comcab, Tony Marson. I've got to say thanks ever so much, gents, for your time today. Really appreciate you. Talk to the trade. Um, it's been about, what, two years since the Addison AL Group got involved with Comcab? Yes, it's been just over two years. Um, and uh, it's been a, a lovely journey so far. Been hard, but we've enjoyed the journey. It's been a great partnership. And uh, we're looking forward to moving forward in leaps and bounds. And, uh, for you, Liam, I know, you know, with the Black Cab, it's such an iconic vehicle, a global brand. What what appeal to you? Um, no, I certainly raised a few eyebrows, didn't it, back in the day? Um, few. They're definitely a few. Mm. But, you know, we've, we've competed, well, we like to think that we competed with you over many, many years. And we've always had the, you up on this pedestal. And then the opportunity came along where Comfort Delgro, you know, didn't want particularly enjoy it anymore. They just, they knocked on the door and said, you know, would you be interested? And it's like, well, of course you would. So, um, you know, I've always held you guys in such high regard that the opportunity to add it to the the portfolio so it sounds a bit, um, um, what's the word? Does it sound like it's a positive acquisition? It's a positive acquisition. Yeah, you know, like, you know, I think when you look at our customer base and what they want, you know, certainly the B2B corporate side of stuff, you know, they want to have the career the exec car, the standard car, all in one place. And the bit that we didn't have was a black taxi. So uh, now that we've been able to add that, and, you know, as you guys have seen over the last few months, that work is starting to come through now. So, um, you know, the customers, you know, it's, it's been a new thing that we've introduced, but there's a start to take it up more and more, and the work's starting to flow through now. So you feel like uh, acquiring Comcab was part of the jigsaw, the final bit of the jigsaw that you put in place. It's never quite the final piece. We're not, I mean, there's a thing more that we want to add in, but it was a big piece. It was a very big piece. And, um, you know, I think it's gone down well. You know, we have had to invest in the technology and that's been a, take us a little bit longer than we would have liked. But we are there now. And as you guys would have may or may not have done already, we've got the iOS. Uh, that's gone live this week. It's gone live this week. So we've been testing it with about 20 of you for the last few months. Um, and then we've now got the confidence to launch it on the app store. Oh, also, I think that's a big difference. You know, most people have got the, an Apple iPhone as opposed to an Android. And um, whilst we had the Android one out there, it wasn't great uptake. Yeah. And so um, I think this will hopefully be a little bit of a game changer so that you can have all the apps on one device and obviously you put ours front and centre. And, um, you know, it will try and send you really decent jobs. As yeah. Well, it's funny you say that because I just spoke to Tony today and I've... I've you know, months I've known Tony, you know, and when when I see the app on the Android, I said, oh, no, that's not for me. No. Because I'm a bit of old school. I can't have phones all on my dash. I can't. I only want the one phone, which is an iPhone. And now that it's on ISO, I've downloaded it today. I've got it on my phone, and it's just going to be great. So if you're a driver watching this, and and we're going to talk about the work and the, and the high levels of work that you've got for drivers, after watching this, there'll be a link on there where the driver can just set yeah. on, download the app, and, and, and start taking advantage of the work. It is, and I know that the apps aren't everybody's cup of tea, but, but what we offer up is perhaps the other donors, you know, you can start your day with picking a job night before to take a job off the screen. So you know we're going to go first thing in the morning, you know, start your day, earn a few quid, you know, might do an airport, whatever you fantasy, whatever suits you. And then, you know, you might well go home as well. So, you know, so... Not everybody. I know you guys, we're competing with the picking up off the street piece. Um, so if that's your preference, fine, crack on. But you, you, can, have a, but you can have a mix of both. And you say, okay, if you do a couple of jobs a day out of it, and you can pick some, you know, we do do some decent distance. You know, our average docket at Lee is, is the best part of over 50 quid these days. So, you know, yeah. you've got some juicy stuff. That's some nice work out there for drivers. It is. So, yeah. But I think also is one of the things that we've looked at is the variety of work because obviously we hold the, the large one of the largest contracts in the industry, which is taxi card, that's getting bigger and bigger every day now because there's more people that are signing on for that. We have our future scheme, which is seven days, seven jobs. So people now are making sure that they can have their lives outside of driving and also have family life, which is very important to us because we are very big about family. Yeah. And this is now one of the, the 
best things that we can see is that we're bringing all this into one family pot. So from that, we also have another part of uh, our business, which is dialer up. These are jobs that are hourly for the day. Well, like an hourly rate. An hourly rate for the day, X amount of hours fixed. And they are, that is grown by 200%. Wow. In the last six months. Yeah. Because of the professionalism we have from the black taxi, because of their ability for the wheelchair, etc. So that has grown. I said, if someone can then fix their day on that and then go and do their bit of street work after, mum's happy. Yeah. Mm. And that, that's what we always know that mum has to be happy at the end of the week. So that gets back to where we look at this partnership. Yeah. And, and the change of work and, the, and the, the work that's coming through. Liam has allowed us to switch on X amount so far. There is an abundance ready to be switched on. But we have got to make sure that one, we keep our faces clean. Yep. We don't want rejection, rejection, rejection. We want accept, accept, accept. So from that, we're seeing that the accept is happening now. Drivers are now seeing that the work is coming through on a regular basis. We're seeing regular drivers turning up at the regular slots yeah. because they know that job's coming out. And from an operational point of view, that's how I look at it to say that it's working. Mm. So we're ready now to switch on more. So we need to put more drivers. That's a bit of a balance, isn't it? It is a good driver. We need we need the balance. Cover the work. The balance is coming. We're seeing drivers now actually talking to each other. Oh, there's work coming through it on a regular basis. So this is the time now to actually jump on board because this this is this is yeah. the time where we're going to switch to more. Because Liam has said quite graciously, this is what we want. If we want to build, we want to grow the family. So the easiest way is one for all. Mm. Because for years, like I, was, I think I said to you earlier, Liam, as a cab driver of a few years now, a few decades, it was all like Addison Lee and black cabs. They were like cat and dog. Yeah. But now with this partnership, both, you know, for the cab trade, it's not negative for the cab trade. It's all positive for the cab trade. Think, you know, the yeah, the work, the investment, yeah, the new app. And I think we're, you know, we've been around a long time in London. Yeah. And so, you know, I like to think we know the trade better than most and compared to the others. The disruptors. The disruptors. Yeah. You know, you know, we were the original disruptor. And so, you know, and everyone else has come in now and, you know, have out disrupted us. But, you know, you know, we've pulled back and we, we've held our own. And, uh, but I think whilst there's that, all that new shininess to it, you know, we still, at the heart of it, we, you know, we still go back to basics. We know who the customer is. We know what they want. You've got to turn up on time, A to B, nice and tidy, well presented car and all those bits. And you know, that's what we're known for. Yeah. And and I think us selling the black taxi piece in, you know, there's no one really out there doing it. You know, like I, from a terms of engagement with, with the corporates and the city and all that sort of stuff, you know, people aren't trying that hard out there. We are. So that's why we keep within the work. So and people trust us and, you know, we bring all that to the table. And, you know, I think the black taxi now, you know, the, a number of things that happen in our trade that have pushed the prices back up. And, you know, there's different things that happen with the VAT, worker status, you know, all those painful things. But what that has done, it's, it's made us more expensive. And, you know, relative to a black taxi, yeah, and I'm the first person to say that if I'm going to go east to west, I'm going to jump in the back cow all day long because yeah. like, all the bus lanes and, yeah, you know, all those I'll bits. with that, yeah. So, um, you know, so I think the product with the new LEBC cars and, and all those bits, you know, I just do think... It has become better and better, and you'd have to say that mini cabin and the ride hailers, you know, are not of our standard. And so, you know, there's a real sweet spot for the black taxi at the moment, which I actually think will, will massively grow. And you're finding that the corporate accounts, accounts like the black cab, right? Yeah. Using the black, and the, the truth is that they're kind of waking up to it again. You know, they definitely switched it off a bit because they just thought, by default, that the mindset was it was too expensive. Yeah. And, you know, that's not the case. It's not the case. It's not the case. And we can prove what they, it's not the case. And we can prove, you know, what they're not surging. And yes, you've got a ticking meter, but it's the same price you know, at the start of the journey, the end of the journey, all times a day. If it rains, the meter don't go under, it go up. And so, you know, actually now, by comparison to some of the surge, it looks like good value. And so, you know, the, the customers are waking up to that and it's making it easier for us to sell it against them. 
beautiful. And, um, you know, so therefore I think it's got a good future. And also, I've got to be honest, I've had a couple of my members talk to me and what they've said, if they've got a problem with a job, whatever it is, they can get on the phone. Yeah. And there's always someone at the end of the line where on the other apps, they find that it's really hard. But that was done my service and stuff. I think that was one of the main objectives of when the when the acquisition took place is that we have the two different products running side by side yeah. and in conjunction coming to the same point. So from that, we have kept all the necessaries. We've got our fleet services. We've got our fitting bay. We've got our DQOs. This all works. We still have the, the fundamental parts of the working radio circuit as we all know them back in the day of a radio circuit. So that's still the fundamental, and we've kept that. So it is about the the years. Eileen, 45 years. Very much a family since all the time. And we're still there out there. I mean, you probably walk through it this morning. It's, you know, they're all still sat there together, but separately. You know, they're doing their own circuit, but they're all still sat in the same room. And like what you said, Tom, sorry. What you said, I remember when I got out, Comcab was the big radio yeah. circuit, right? There was others, but... Comcab had loads of work. It was all on voice. It drove you mad. It was like now nah, driving a cab with four, six, seven. Yes, yes, I'm here. It was all that sort of stuff. But and like you said, Liam, about you know how long Addison Lee has been in London. Yeah, before doing the disruptors from over the pond. So AO and Comcab, they're like a real London established brands, aren't they? Well, I always say it was like a marriage that never comes to fruition till now. Um, so if I'm an enemy, that's sort of yeah, that. yes, yeah, for sure. It was a husband and wife story that uh, ended up with. Um... I'm not sleeping with you, so yes, no. <laughs> we can cut that out. I mean, I mean, I've about sexual activity <laughs> the scene, at the end of the tour. But the um, yeah, I think that it's been a very good mm. partnership, uh, and and it will continue for long to come. Yeah, and and like you said, Liam, the great news for the cab trade is where before. Corporates might have seen it as being expensive in the black cab. Now with the new vehicle, the electric cab, the knowledge, it's, 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 all it's a great product. And it's probably the, the bit you didn't quite have, certainly Comcab didn't have, was, was the booking process. And a lot of the corporates now, they want this platform. They want the management information and all the reporting and all this, you know, all the governance that sits over the top right. of it. Yeah. You know, and we've, you know, that's what we do. That's what we have always done. And, you know, we've got a new version of it now, which is even sexier than, than ever so we can sell that on behalf of the trade and it's and it's you know we know what other people are out there doing it and and now did by far away the best one right and so and, and and we control the ops you know we, we go around and say that you know that we do provide the service and we you know, we definitely we do the careers and yeah us so we do the standard cars as us and do the exec cars as us we actually say we do the, the back taxis as us as well whereas everyone else is just his platform with no real control of the yeah, app. Yeah. The customers like the fact that we, yeah, we can be a little bit picky and cheesy about who drives for us and where we send them oh. and what we pay them and all those sort of bits. So we are probably the only company in London. a lot of boxes there. Yeah, we do it. And that's what they want. They want that nowadays. They want visibility. They want governance. Uh, all those sort of uh, environmental credentials. For sure. We tick all those boxes. And I, I think from a regulatory point of view, we tick all the boxes. So we've been in on many panels uh, with TFL um, from a CONCAD point of view. Um, obviously, we've spoken Grove in the past about the, the path to excellence. Yeah, We're looking at really helping and funding the black taxi trade to bring new people on board. Um, there was only a short period of time ago, three drivers that were Addison Lee drivers have been on the knowledge for three and a half years plus. They passed out. Walk down the stairs with a badge glowy and then our content drivers. Yeah? yeah. So we are, me and Liam, we've spoken about this at length. We are really interested in making sure that the black taxi trade, one, stays. Um, we're very up for helping with training. We're looking at other bodies to help us as well. Yeah. Um, and with that, we should be able to produce good taxi drivers, black cab drivers that have passed the knowledge and are out there on the street to keep this iconic brand alive for sure. Hundred percent. And what you touched on about work levels and stuff, I think you was going to tell me today about um, you've got the app, the AO app. Yes. And and what's going on there now? 
Yeah. And the positives? Well, the positives is obviously we've gone from zero um, before it was switched on. And we're looking at easy now coming up to near off a thousand jobs a day um, that we're putting out across that app. So, so from that, that can only grow. Yeah. Um, but the biggest thing about it is, is that we need the acceptance from the driver. The rejection and rejection, rejection doesn't help it grow. So from that, if they wished it to grow, they need to accept because rejection doesn't give the client a good experience. Yeah. The client then doesn't come back. If I've been a long-standing AL user, at this moment in time, recently, I believe, you can look down and you get the executive cars, P83, but a black cab is now included on their yeah. choice. Yeah, and before you wouldn't see it. So it wasn't, even when we did turn it on, originally we won this funny carousel and you couldn't see the black cab. Whereas now we've changed this grid, so you go standard car, black taxi. And you know, one of the reasons we've done that is because you know, a lot of our customers want the car quickly, and you know we we haven't been able to compete over the last few years with some of the ride hails. Yeah, you know, you know, they quote two three minutes, don't they turn up in two or three minutes that they people think they will, so they book with them. Yeah, you know, we've always been far too honest for our own good of saying where we're going to turn up. You know, so so now you know having the black taxi on there, you know, if people want a quick car and, and it turns out we present whatever's quickest, and if that happens to be a black taxi, they can book a black taxi. And that opens up sort of thousands of app users. It like does. And, I mean, you know, and that's what we, we've always been good at is get customers on board and get them using it. What we've suffered with lately is that you know, we haven't had the availability, we haven't had the speed. And so by opening up to the back taxi, you know, that gives them the choice. And, wow. You know, whether people just want a car, they want to get from A to B. And they're not necessarily worried about what type of vehicle. A lot of them are that price sensitive. So they just want availability. Yeah. And so the you know, combining the two, you know, if they do look at black taxi, we are going to send a black taxi. I mean, and that's, I think, yeah. you know, you hear really it's not an act. You we click a black cab, but a private eye in. So, we, you know, so, so just for the for the record, we don't do that. We can't do that. If you book a black taxi, that's our right. license, the license dictates that you have to send a black yeah, cab. Okay. If we book a private hire vehicle, we can sub that to a black taxi. So we could do it one way. We could do it one way. We can't do it the other. Oh right. So that takes all the the myths, the rumours, uh, and driving driving investors so, out of the window. We are legally not allowed to do it. So it doesn't happen. So whatever anyone thinks, it does not. So the fella in the cat last week who said it does that, but he's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. <laughs> I'm joking. So so if you're a cab driver like myself and you're watching this interview today. Um, at the end of the interview, there'll be a QR code that you can download the app. And as you heard, there's loads of work opportunities and that is growing. But we need like us on board, cab drivers on board to get it growing and growing even more. Yeah. That, 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 it's about that, a partnership, Tony, isn't it? Yeah. It's all about being part of the family, about partnership. And my, and so my door's always open. Any driver wants to come down as they do and have a chat. And by all means... Let's be part of this going forward. So, there you go, everyone. Comcab, AL Group, working together. You've got a new app. The, it's been opened up. Much more work coming through. Fantastic. Positive news for the cab trade. Tony, thanks very much for your time. Much appreciated. Liam, thanks ever so much for your time. I know you're both very, very busy. So, you can download the new app on your iPhone and, and get to work. Fantastic. Thank you.